Hi guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. You know it's getting colder here in upstate New York. And one of the things that I do every night is, as I'm watching YouTube's TV or just hanging out, is I love to crochet. So, I hate to also be cold. <laughs> so I make these little infinity scarves all sizes and this is what I do. I like to have them match my outfit. Sometimes they don't, but like at night when I'm cold, I'll just wear one at a time. I can flip it up over my ears to keep me warm. If I have to go someplace, I can actually kind of use it as a hat or a scarf. So these are the three I made lately. So, and these all came from the same skein of yarn. You don't need a whole lot of yarn depending on the pattern that you're using. So this is one, which is nice because it can kind of like, if I want to wear something with the yellow or the pink, you know, if I want to wear a light color, and today I'm just wearing black. Um, this is actually the one I'm wearing today, which is a close knit, and then I can just like flip it over my head. And then this one is a longer one. So I'll take this one off. And this is a longer one, so say... I want to go out or I want to go to church or something I could like wrap it around you know however I want it if I you know I could wrap it around my head if I want it to be like a kind of like a scarf and I just make a ton of them the infinity scarves and the reason I like them like this is you know have you ever like walked around and your scarf falls off and it's just a pain I like them so that they can they they connect although I do make the other kind too but I just wanted to share with you this. I like to, like I said, I like to have a scarf every day that I can wear. I've got something on me <laughs> that I can match my outfits with and uh, just have fun with them. You know, like I said, you can you can wrap them around your head like a scarf. Even if, with the mask stuff, you can put your mask underneath and in the winter kind of walk in to the store. But every day I wear one and I even wear one when I go to bed at night because I get earaches. And you can, if you feel so inclined, <laughs> depending on the style. But like I said, I like to make a ton of them. You can even um, layer them if you want to. So you can just look all funky with all your scarves. But the main reason I love these is I get cold ears. So I don't like to have cold ears. So I just kind of like flip them over my head, especially when I'm sitting on, my, on the couch and crocheting out. Or at night, I cover my ears because I get earaches. I have allergies, and sometimes they bother me. So I just flip them over my ear, and I'm warm all night. <laughs> so anyway, you can use almost any pattern to crochet them and just connect them with a sewing needle. I have, so far, I know I have a few stitches, and I'm going to be leaving, like, all my stitches that I make on my channel. I'm going to do more crocheting videos along with my other videos. But uh, you can do like a single crochet, a double crochet. I left the rope stitch here. So you can start off using those. We're right on our channel here. And you can check those out. So hope you enjoyed this video and how we can make some infinity scarves and stay warm and be stylish. And this is just one of those cakes I got at Walmart. And it really wasn't big enough to make a shawl or a baby blanket or anything. But it did produce three scarves for me. So I was really happy with that. And um, I guess I maybe I didn't say it quite like this, but I'll bring this out for what it's worth. You can even make them shorter if you wanted like thinner and use them like as a headband too. It's a good way to use up your scrappy yarn or if you see a color that you like or you're not quite sure what you want to make out of something or not sure if you like a pattern, pattern if you have lots of yarn, you can kind of monkey around with it. And uh, there you go, I'm all blown it up. All we need now is snow. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And make some of these scarves. They're fun and they're easy. And try out some of my stitches on our line, on our uh, YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't crocheted, I teach you how to do it right here. <laughs> so, anyway, um, you know, just go back on some of my old videos. So, like, subscribe, and remember... Big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.